now we are going to deal with finding a live host in local area networks. For this part we are going to use Windows operating system, mainly for demonstration purposes. Some Nmap activities can be done equally good in Windows operating system as they are in Linux. The only prerequisite here is that we have Nmap or Zenmap installed on our Windows operating system. Navigate to the Zenmap icon, do the right click, click on properties and then click on open file location. This way we opened the installation directory of Nmap Zenmap package. When you are inside a folder, hold shift and then do the right click and then open command window here. In the open terminal window, just type in nmap.exe. This will run the nmap executable for Windows. We are only doing this to check if nmap is working in correct order. By the given output, we can see that nmap is working without any problems. And in order to check for live hosts in our network, we are going to do following command nmap.exe dash s uppercase p against 192.168.7.1 slash 24. This means that we will scan all of the 256 addresses on the local network. And anything that there is within that range will be discovered by Nmap. And when Nmap is finished with the scanning of the network, it will output all the devices with their addresses and MAC addresses if they are present on the network. Also, you can see that we even have the names of manufacturers of those devices. We need to check if the Nmap really discovered our own host, actually the one from which we are conducting the scan. So we are going to run a ipconfig command. Inside command line window, just type in ipconfig and press enter. The only thing that we need to do here is to compare the default gateway address to the address of our host that was given to us in nmap output. nmap sends raw ethernet packets even on a local network, but we can override that behavior by using dash dash send dash ip command or send ip command in order to send ip level packets. Unfortunately, this command cannot work here because Microsoft operating systems do not support sending of raw ip packets. So we need to switch to our Linux operating system and conduct the same scan. This is the situation where we see why the Linux distributions are much more suitable for doing this kind of work. Now we are inside our Kali Linux distribution and we are going to retry the command that we previously tried in Windows. So here we are going to use netdiscover command which is used for discovering live hosts in your network. Regardless of the fact that it's not included in the nmap suite, this command is very useful for discovering live hosts. All you need to do is just to type in netdiscover inside your terminal and press enter. Then the netdiscover should list all of the live hosts in your network. Parallel to netdiscover command, I'm going to run the host discovery command here in Linux. The command is identical as we did in Windows operating system, just there is no .exe. Type inside your terminal nmap-sp send ip against 192.168.7.1/24. Again, we are hitting on the range of 1 to 256 addresses on our local network. And then press enter. Now, when the scan is finished, just compare the netdiscover output with the nmap output. Everything should be identical except the format of the output itself. These commands are very helpful, especially if you are a network administrator or penetration tester, because you will find yourself many times in the need for discovering a live hosts on your network. The sp command or host discovery command can be combined with special scripts that are called NSE scripts. We will talk about them later in this course. There is one script that can be used for host discovery, along with dash sp or host discovery flag in nmap, which gives us very detailed dump about hosts. Inside a terminal just type in nmap dash sp script discovery 192.168.7.1 slash 24. Then just press enter and wait. 
when you take a look at the output of this script, you can see that it is very big. Inside this script, there are two that are running in the background, which are Snipper Detect and DNS Brute. Oh, and here even we have a host name of the machine. DNS Brute is brute forcing of DNS records, while Snipper Detect is used for detection of snippers that used ARP poisoning in order to conduct men in the middle attacks.